everybody, I'm TapTap -Tap and welcome to Penko Park. Let me know in the comments what your first experience with photography was. I'm gonna leave that slightly vague, but my first experience was like, um, that I can remember anyway. I'm sure I like screwed around with like a real camera as a kid, but I had um, a cell phone camera. Like a rate, I think it was like a Motorola Razor. And I, I took pictures with it and it was like, wow, I have a thing that can take pictures. And like, I was like, you know, messing with, you could do um, black and white photos and I was messing with the super, super limited, super low quality pictures, but it was like really cool to me. Honestly, just anything, anybody's first camera, they'll, they'll be amazed with it's. I'm not super huge into photography, I mostly take pictures of my cat, but at the time it was really cool. Now entering the volcanic area of Penko Park. I mean, if I lived in like a volcanic area, I'd probably take some more pictures. I mean, if I go on trips and stuff, I take pictures, of course. Anyway, many species thought extinct were rediscovered in the caverns of a magma this magmatic area. Since our last unfortunate incident, I will kindly ask you to stay inside the cart and under no circumstances touch the lava. Your body would evaporate in an instant. Buckle up and let's get going before the magma gets cold. D damp damp fling. There he is. Okay, so that's the map. So there's like two branches. It's like some sort of magma sea. How is that only a two? I love this like just slightly spooky, not like jump, like jump scare horror, but like just a little ominous. But also adorable. The volcanic caverns might appear stony and brittle, but they're teeming with life that, can, that flourished under adverse conditions. The entrance to the inner part of the cave was found only after the park was already built. Neat. Grab some stones. No. Uh, let's go right both times, I guess. Oh, mushrooms! Helge! Oh, I'm such a sucker for mushrooms. B big mushrooms, crystal caves, glowy lava. Any environment seen in Yoshi's Island, really. Terraria is really good at making good environments, too. This mushroom cave seems to be part of a larger network of oversized fungi, harboring many mostly solitary species. Further explorations were quickly put to a grinding halt after too many pankies fell into a chasm due to lack of proper lighting. Oh no. Are you the only one left? Pony pep. Oh, there's ghosts again. No ghosts for us yet. Can I give it a slap? <laughs> They'd never allow me in a zoo. Ooh, ooh, ooh! A helge! I think that's like their defensive stance is the one with the wall. Can't wake him up. I, I have to get that pinky. Wait, did I get the? No, I unlocked more photos. We don't have the pinky ball yet. Ooh. Doug, how you doing, Doug? You know, I got a Doug in um in my uh at work, and he looks just like you. Pinko. This I know this game has some deep lore. Oh, that's a thing. I know there's some deep lore. Let me know the deep lore in the comments, I guess. If you're if you're serious, like spoiler tag it, but like I wonder if there's like fascinating fake lore. You guys, it's me. We're we're gonna it's the game theorists and we're gonna talk about Panko Park. You know that kind of thing. What's Rosalord? Oh Rosalord is my favorite princess, man. I also like Blazy and Winces Weech. Ground Rosalord thorns mixed with water were used by village folk to get drunk and poison their neighbors. Sometimes both at the same time. Thanks. Thanks. Interesting. This game has a good sense of humor. Touch, no. Oh, 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 those are things, those are things to, to, to break over. How is that not just normal, Doug? Modder. Come on. There we go. I was gonna say, how is that? Oh, we got crap in the way. 
Hello, Rumple. Mr. Rumpleman. Mr. Rumple still skin. That's a good noise. The, the ambient noises in this game are fantastic. I kind of wish it had some music. But maybe it would mess with the ambience, I don't know. The ambient noises are very good. Oh, oh. There we go. The Turfo spends most of its day buried under the Earth's crust. It serves the purpose of both nourishing roots and protecting it from predators. Who is this man? Who is this gargantuan man in the distance? Knuspers! Turbor. Skull? Just a, just a skull in the park? Gato! I guess the park's been abandoned for a while. There's gonna be some corpses, I guess. Modern. I already got one of those. Out of the collection. This, what a cute environment, too. And it gives you a reason to keep replaying and stuff. Because there's. There we go. You know, you need to go back and see the little ghost stuff. Ooh. I also like the indicator when you can interact with stuff. Um, that helps a lot to know what stuff is. This game is very well designed in terms of uh, interaction design, which is too often um, kind of underrated. Oh my god. That is terrifying. Is that a th bone? Bone get. Oh, oh, oh. Gomer. The names in this game are so fun to say. The ball of a keepo. Keepiko. Listen to that noise. Uh, the ball of a keepiko is its life work. Every day it carefully puts on layer by layer until the ball starts to glow and vibrate warmly. Oh, that noise. Gently driving me insane. Look at that terrifying bastard. What a lovely park! I, this I, I'm really loving this game. I'm probably gonna get somebody mad that I'm enjoying a video game again. <laughs> I'll never forget that somebody was like mad that I was enjoying a game. I forget what game it was. Uh, I think it was um, Wonder Boy and the Dragon's Curse. Somebody was like upset. Like tap tap. You're not supposed to like games. God damn it. Just like stop that. No. <laughs> I'll never stop. I'll never ever stop. Seeing Saldi. Why is this? So How is this such a bad picture? I don't get why that was such a bad picture. Whatever. What was that? The noises are great. This game would be a lot less good without the noises. End of the line. Look at all the amazing things you've collected. I'm liking this underground area. There's the Dampfling, there's the Onipat. They're just so fun to, to say the names of. The Helge. They sound like made up critters from Homestar Runner. I think that's what I like the most. That's a good Doug. That's a pretty good Doug. I like the aesthetics of the cave ones, but I gotta admit the, um, the outdoors one is a better photo. It's better framing. None of these are all of that good. Spork. <laughs> he even made an unimpressed grunt. Mr. Rumple? That's a very good Rumple photo. Wub wub. Knuspers. Let's get the closer one. Got another Knus Knuspers. Tubor! That is just terrifying. Tubor is, is honestly terrifying just from the sheer size. And Saldi! Saladi, I guess. That. <laughs> Spink! That Spink is the most terrible. I will never sleep again after seeing Spink. Kikipo. Tobacco. Yeah, I like this. I like this one with the cross-eyed. That's good. <laughs> what a terrifying array of objects we've discovered here. Two boar bones. The giant. I, I figured that was the Gato head. I, do, I don't like seeing that. Monty. I don't know what a Monty is yet. It's a Knusper hive. 
Whatever this is. Oh, it's a modern egg. Got a stamp to get. Now we got pinko balls! Middle click. Throw it. Okay, so we gotta like get the arc and it makes them act weird. Got it. I mean, you can view like a little. Oh. I always like when you can replay little tutorials and stuff just so you can see. Yeah. So you can see how stuff works. Because sometimes you take a break from a game and you're like, what the hell is any of this stuff? Or like, you just want to re record stuff for a video, which I sometimes need to do. And it's just useful, you know? Oh, we got two and one. Oh, we can go faster now. That's good. Um, I figured that, yeah, cart stop. Press S to briefly stop your cart. Okay. I'm two for two so far in guesses of what the things are. All right. Once more into the breach, I want to check out the other branch of the, uh, the fire boys. I really like the little tracker. Uh, mo more, more games. Ooh, ooh. More game. Oh! Can I redo? Hold on, I'm gonna redo that because I can get a I can get a fine picture of him like immediately if I just know to do that. So let's do this again. There he is. There's Lobo. Oh, I love the little thing. This reminds me of Pikmin a lot in both like the um, the completion aspect and the um, the silly animals, of course. <laughs> Look at him go! Oh, Pinko balls! So it takes a little skill to use the penko balls properly. Because they kind of travel in an arc. Heck. Okay, didn't quite get that right. Oh! Lobo! Ah, uh, we already got a Lobo. Oh, left. We gotta go left this time. Did I- I feel like we only met one branch last time? Helge! There's definitely some skill involved in operating the, um, these things. Anger boy. Fungler! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Aw, little babbies. Shortly after Serpenko realized the Penky's high pain tolerance and great worth ethics, this breeding station was built out of thin air. Oh. His little little skeletons in the breeding chamber. Here, staff work day and night to make the next generation of loyal pinky workers. I was right. There, oh, oh. There is some deep lore here. Um, Crabble. Now you can see which animals are missing an artifact for it too. Oh neat! Spork! I love the names. If this was not readily apparent, which I'm sure it is. Oh! Oh, 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 no! There we go! Oh, I see that. Oh, who's that? That's Doug! It's Doug doing an interpretive dance! Look at his feet, his furry legs. Just like the Doug I know from work! I really hope Doug doesn't watch my videos. I'm just kidding if you're watching Doug. I'm sure he doesn't. But wouldn't that be a thing? Um, hey, have you seen Tap Tap's um, videos? It's making fun of you, bro. It's not cool. Oh, 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 there he is! There's that man! There he is! He's doing the dance! Excellent. Look at him go. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of Rozo. Rozo, Roserade, whatever its name is. The weapon switching. 
I mean, they're not really weapons, but the switching is a little awkward sometimes. Get that. Excellent. We got a new hat. Oh no! He's going... He's going wacky! <laughs> I feel kind of bad now. He did not enjoy that. Oh, he's like... He's got a defense mechanism! Oh, those are baboos on the tree. <laughs> the, no the noises are incredible. Somebody had a lot of fun making those noises, and I appreciate them for it. Oh, that's angry noise. How do I make spooked? I gotta spook them. Eh, I couldn't get him. Now we got that. I don't think I can hit him from here. Oh, is that a thing? Uh, left. What's the? Oh. Did I? Oh, oh, oh! Who are you? Who's this man? Ah. Oh. Jeez. Yeah, some stuff definitely time sensitive. All right, speed up. I think I missed it. Oh. Did I get that before? Oh. They just hide. Okay. Oh! Man, that guy's terrifying. Alright. Aim way high. At least this seems to be an area of effect on the balls. Yeah, we didn't get him. Seems to be an area of effect. Oh. Let's go right. Oh no, we didn't go. Okay, so we missed that, that path closer to the lava fall. Alright, I'm not quite perfect at throwing the balls yet. Keep it cool. End of the line. Alright. Oh well. Let's see what we got this time. We got some lava. Yeah, it's a better picture, I guess. We already got a damp fling. I like the happy one, though. Hey, Helge. That'll do. Oh, that is a much better Helge. Oh, that's a totally different type of picture. Get the fungler. Gasophant. Angry Gasophant. Crabble. And this one? And Spork? Oh, no, no, no. We want this one. That's a much better picture. Doug. Oh, 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 oh! Does it... Oh, it tells you... There's a little... There's a little description. I'll check out the album after this. I think. Oh. <laughs> These aren't the best, but that'll do. Modder. Translated song means boop, beep, boop, boop, bobble. Excellent. Oh, I love I love bestiaries and stuff that like explain animal behavior or like you know creature behavior. I think that's fine. Tubor. I like the one we got. I like him peeking in from the trees there. Akanai. Saladi. Terrifying. I don't like those things. Got little head eyes. There you go. Oh, crabble eggs. Hurry up and don't let the crabble bite you. Folk wisdom. Oh, I love when you can read these things. Most guests enjoy crushing crabble eggs in their spare time between rides. No? Oh no. Cassifan actually smells quite pleasant. How do we... How do I page change? I don't... Oh! Okay. Close to the edge of the spork, though they never see any other there anymore these days. Oh no! Letting children catch a spork with their tongue is a lesson they'll never forget. Be the flame, not the onipap. Sir Robertus Pinko, about the art of seduction. Oh. Might have been created on accident by the park scientists who crossed an onipap with a rosolard. Oh, so there's, there's selective breeding going on. 
What if a spider decided to walk on two legs instead of eight? You get a Doug. Dr. Amanda Grobble, Pinkle Park scientist. Doug. What if a spider decided to walk on two legs instead of eight? Or, oh, we already got that. So it's only one per each thing. We believe that the swarm of formations could tell us a lot about the true nature of the park. Dr. Amanda Grobble, Pinkle Park scientist. That's, that's a terrible photo, but I got perfect score for it. An ocarina-like structure that can be used to play a wide variety of eerie sounds. Huh. Tubor. A fully grown tubor needs at least three large boulders per day to maintain its body weight. This is actually a rather sophisticated toothpick used by both tubor and tobacco. Tobacco! Grows to over 250 feet in height. Interesting. Mindful soul of the park. Its song has a soothing effect on many other animals. Helge. Not get along with the Hokori after the big monkey bonanza of 56. Oh, it's a shame. Might look cuddly, but its skin is one of the hardest known materials to man after man to grabble. Gotta skulls are traded highly on the black markets for being terrifying. Rumple. Has anyone ever shouted back at it? Sarumpus Pingo, Pingo daydreaming. You have permission to use the flamethrowers? <laughs> Sir Robert is Pinko in a staff meeting. Incredible. Valid and incredible. Turfo has a surprisingly good sense of rhythm. Its dance is both workout and mating ritual. Mesmerizing. Hello, Parker. Parker Park. That's right. If you looked up there in the crevice, this is the perfect hiding place. Park staff trying to reach and escape the spink. Jermobber? Jermobber? Mating call of the Goomer. Oh, there is. You can make them fly somehow. Voted Lord of the Seven Magma Lakes eight times in a row. Acolai. Pinkle Bark. All right, so next time I'll read the first parks thing. I won't, I won't go on too long here. Monthly lenses, spherical. My, I, I still don't know what a Monty is. All right, we got the, we unlocked the pause feature. So we can just take a nice little stop. Okay, next time I need to unlock, wait, so what's the next? Crater Lake! Okay, so next time um, I might just go and fix some pictures uh, and then we'll unlock Crater Lake. So, I am SuitapTap, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe.